Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI volleyball team is halfway through their non-conference schedule as they always have a challenging pre-Missouri Valley Conference slate. Well, they've found success with the highlight being a win over a LSU team receiving votes in the top 25. Just one week away now from the Panthers opening up their home opener at the UNI tournament. Here's an update on the Panthers. The 2023 Panther Volleyball program has traveled across the Midwest to face some incredible non-conference opponents the past two weeks, including Villanova, Western Michigan, Milwaukee, LSU, Ball State, and Creighton. The Panthers have had a balanced attack as they faced these tough opponents. We just got a lot of really great experience and a lot of opportunities for growth. Uh, and I was just really um, proud of how our team responded to a lot of different things. Just overall, um, love what we're doing. We, it's fun because there's so much we're, we can get better at on the volleyball side, the technical, um, the execution of things, improving our offense, um, building on our defense that we'll have an opportunity to do maybe in a couple of weeks, I guess. Um, but it's fun because we have a lot of opportunity for growth in that way, and I know we're going to get there in some of those things. Um, but just the way we're competing right now in these early tournaments, I'm, I'm super proud of our team. Four Panthers reached key milestones in UNI's trip to Omaha last weekend, headlined by setter Taylor Alden becoming the eighth player in program history to reach 3,000 career assists. Bobby loves where this team is at this early in the season. It's just a different attitude in terms of, I think last year we grew a lot in our ability to reset and move on and just compete hard. And that happened more as we went along. Um, I looked after the Creighton match and you know, they're ranked in the top 20. Uh, and after that match, we were genuinely mad that we did not win that match. And in, like last year at that early point, I felt like it would be like, well, you know, we competed well with them. We got to feel good about that, which we do. But it, there's that was maybe the madness was probably just a few players where I felt like it was the entire team. You know, I had Kira hitting the floor after she didn't get that free ball over the net. And, you know, just I think it's just a different mindset. You know, we believe that we can compete early and, and that's what we're planning on doing you know it's not sometimes you worry about we're not just going out to play teams that are really good you're going out to compete and win and I think we have that attitude right now and again the ability to reset I mean it's huge and we've done it so far it, it doesn't mean it just happens all the time we're gonna have to continue to do that because sometimes like I said it gets it can get ugly during a volleyball match and you have to be able to move on from that after coaching the Panthers to their 24th NCAA tournament berth last fall, UNI head volleyball coach Bobby Peterson has been awarded a five-year contract extension through the end of the 2028 season. She is the winningest volleyball coach in UNI and Missouri Valley Conference history in her 23 years leading the program. Yeah, I think, you know, it's just, this is a special place. I get a little bit emotional with this. Um, special place for me, obviously um, competing here and, and being here for basically my entire career. But I just, I look at it as, and I think, you know, Kim and Michelle being here is a long time too, just a responsibility to all the amazing people that have been through this program to build this tradition, whether it's the student athletes, whether it's the former coaches, um, our managers, everyone that's been involved um, with this program has built it to be a very special place for so many reasons. It's a big family, you know, we have support all across the country. Um, they support even when they don't know our student athletes. And so to be able to um, have the opportunity to keep you know, keep that going. It's a huge responsibility for sure. And and Kim and Michelle and I, and even Jason now uh, feel that responsibility. But um, I love this community. I love so many things about this university. We have some of the best coaches in the country at this place um, that I get to work with and be around uh, day after day. And I'm just so thankful for that opportunity for sure.